Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today is Monday, January 31st. And you're watching Elaine's Hooked on Yarn and Life. And I hope everybody's doing well. Today I have a, uh, just want to show you and share with you one of the magazines I bought at the thrift store. So I just want to show you what's inside the magazine maybe to give you some ideas and expire you and uh, give you some great ideas and maybe baby garments if you're into that um, <clears throat> to crochet or knit and also they don't have to be uh, just for babies you can actually make uh, these uh, garments in larger size okay but um, this is the magazine is knit and crochet style so you're gonna comment uh, come along with me let's take a look and the this is uh, printed in Germany and it is from the UK so baby cloth for you to knit okay so and here it says elegant and affected I don't know if you guys can see that there. Yes. Soft and wooly, colorful, and imaginative. The patterns are cute. Knitwear, fashionable accessories, little cutty toys. Feel good. Knitwear for little ones. Okay, so it sounds there's a lot of knit going on here. But you know, guys, with knit, you could, you could always try to change that pattern into crochet if you are an intermediate crocheter um, I don't think that would be a problem okay so now on sale well this is another Sandra magazine from their country over there in the UK and just show you what she's wearing which I adore this I think I want to crochet this okay and it's good to, it, I, I was happy to find this magazine because it's from another country and you could just see their their way, their, the, the style of clothing of knitting and crocheting, um, their fashion. Uh, isn't that cute? Oh, look at that little one there. Okay, so this is the first page right here. And a little article there for us to read. Dream Mom's grannies and aunties you know in UK moms they spell mom this is the way they spell it, mom in America it's mom they say moms yes I hope I'm saying it right anyways I think it's cute the way they say it so isn't it neat this one right here this beautiful baby wearing this uh, beautiful cardigan so pretty now they have the sizes here but this is the sizes according to uh, over there in the UK. It's not American sizes, but shoe sizes 1820, which again, this has to be their shoe sizes. Okay, so that's what that says there. Anyways, does she look cute? She almost doesn't look real. She looks like a porcelain doll. But I'm let's go take a look at the work. This is a knit, knit, beautiful cardigan sweater for this baby with the little 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 socks here and then the, the next page we have this one here isn't that pretty so this is pattern number three and I could read that there knitwear and pastel colors with white during the first few months babies should certainly get to know the cozy feeling of comfortable soft knitwear that's what that says there so this is pattern number one and two, which it's the cardigan and the socks. And then this is number three, which is a sweater. And um, yeah, there's another name they call um, sweaters in the UK. If it comes to me, I'll let you know, but I heard them say it so many times. Um, and then there's this cute blue one here. This is pattern four and five in the cute little fuzzy socks. 
I love these. Uh, this is a lovely cuddly knitwear. And I used to love these um, baby in a sack uh, garment for my girls. I used to love those. I'm actually was thinking of making this for someone. But in crochet. So pattern 10 and 7, 9, and 10 is these three right here. Isn't that pretty? Look at the little stuffed animal. Oh, this baby is gorgeous. So let's take a look over here. So, so right there. Isn't that pretty? Those little baby shoes to keep little feet snug and warm. Pattern number 14. Mm. 14 is on the top of this page, interesting, but 13 is down here. I think they did this backwards. And isn't that pretty? This beautiful dress she has on. Oh, adorable. And this is pattern 11 and 12, which is on the next page. And I'm going to move it over here so you can see it better from the glare. Oh, look at the beautiful hat. Look at that artwork right there. Knitwork. Beautiful. The next page is pattern number 16, and it's this beautiful little, little sweaters, uh, half size sweaters for little girls, pretty, and the little dress, that's pretty, that's pattern 18, the socks, purple patterns for little ladies, pattern 17. There, see they got the sizes, UK sizes, but isn't that pretty? I love this. I love it all. <laughs> it's so pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. It's like a cape. A cape with a hoodie or a poncho. Yeah, very nice. The next page is unpacking my bag in it. I put, and this is what they put. This is pretty. Little slippers for babies, little baby shoes. Knit. Very pretty. And this little baby's wearing this. Pretty, pretty. Is this a jumper? Long sleeve dungar dungarees. That's that pattern. So, yeah. Isn't that pretty? I don't know if dungarees means jumper. But it looks pretty. It looks like it's a one piece. It's pretty. Gorgeous baby. Next page. Oh, look at this cute little baby. Okay, pattern 23. Uh, your baby hit. And uh, now this is pretty. And I think this is crochet. And... I think this part is crochet, if I'm not mistaken. Looks like the bubble stitch is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, yeah, it's crochet. Right here. I'm trying to see if it says it somewhere. But I love this sweater. It looks cute on him. Pattern 24 and 26. Isn't that adorable? I love the green colors on babies. Blue, greens, all of them. The pinks, the... The yellows. Isn't that pretty? That has a the green with a little hint of purple, white. And I love these little baby shoes. Very pretty. So this is pattern 24, 26, and 27 on this page. Pattern 28 is isn't that cute? Look at yes, he is. He is adorable. He is adorable. I think he's wearing a jumper. Very cute. This looks knit, but we could crochet this. Yeah. And look at him, pattern 29. And also, they make little toy and um, stuffy uh, play toys here for babies. He's adorable. He almost doesn't look real. Oh, adorable. And I like that blanket behind him. Adorable. Pattern 31. Isn't that pretty? Pretty, pretty. That's knit. And the bear's knit. Very. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Very pretty. And 
there's a black and white section here so I guess this is uh let me see if these are the patterns yep so after that what we just uh what we just saw now the patterns are in the back and of these of this magazine it has a lot of information here which I love look at all this table of size abbreviations and instructions anyway so you'll find all of the patterns I'm not going to bore you with this but it has charts it gives you the uh, measurements for the body side a sleeve and this is for pattern number three it tells you which pattern is here baby sweater pattern number two baby socks pattern number four is the baby cardigan so yeah it has charts so that goes all the way down throughout the book the back pages so let's see what else they have here and I don't want to take up too much of your time oh that's pretty oh this is from the blanket pattern 30 is baby felt booties so it's the booties with that beautiful beautiful blanket a little doggy here and all these patterns are in English it's uh, English guys so that is a plus I was so relieved when I saw that so I was happy Some more patterns here very very informational detail by detail step by step I like that so and then it even has some notes back here for you to write and yeah so this is one of their other magazines called baby and toddlers so I was very lucky I found this in America somebody must have ordered it from the UK and I found it in a drift store for a dollar so this is awesome pattern 34 35 is this one I love that now we could crochet this we could crochet this isn't she adorable hey yo mio pattern 36 I Dios mio means oh my goodness so now here they're just showing you some of these feel feel could knit it wear their yarns from the UK baby cotton is in here uh, so I'm not sure what those are yeah I know cotton because it says it on there baby micro baby hit I don't I never heard of those so there's more over here very very pretty yarn just showing you the yarns I know you guys want to see it uh, yep so more back here bright and colorful so this is a sweater we saw in the front pages and this is a beautiful blanket and now we're going to take a look at this beautiful beautiful knit outfit for this little baby I love it with the little uh little cardigan there isn't that pretty so, yeah. there it goes right here isn't that beautiful you could definitely crochet this and do the cable wires yep yep the cables <laughs> cable stitches not wires stitches and a little baby shoes and socks mm-hmm beautiful Look at this little baby jumper like that. It's very pretty. Very pretty, those socks. Oh, I remember having these for my girls. Of course, I bought them knit already. Oh, look at him. He's just, he's just chilling. <laughs> he's so cute. I love chunky babies. Okay, pattern 44 and 45. Oh, he is so cute. You could definitely crochet this and this. And... This set here is pattern 46 and 47. Adorable babies. Now this is my favorite right here. One of my favorites is she is she is just chilling. The girl is just looking mighty cool here. <laughs> look at her hat. Oh my gosh. But look at her. Look at her sweater. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful, bright colors. It's knit. And the socks. But you could definitely crochet this if you're not a knitter. And there goes the little baby shoes. 
So we are at pattern 48, 49, and 50. I just love that hat. Yes, but sometimes babies just don't keep their hats long enough when they're this age. But it's cute. Nevertheless, you could style them up if you're going to a party. Oh, look at this. Isn't he adorable, this little baby here? Look at that smile. Ay, Dios mio. Cute, cute, cute orange. Nice and bright. Pattern 51. Pattern 52 and 53 is this bright, nice yellow. I love this with the flower in the middle. This knit top and knit hat. And she has a beautiful top as well. And it's knit with a knit play toy plushy frog. So this is up to crochet 54 and 55. Pattern 54 and 55. Not crochet. You can't crochet it. So we're at the uh, at the back of the magazine. And like this is one of my favorites. The name of the magazine. Knit and crochet style. Baby clothes for you to knit. It's interesting how it said in the front. Knit and crochet. Just like here. I only saw one crochet pattern or two. That's it. Everything was knit. But it is beautiful guys. So go check out your thrift stores you might find something interesting like this i never came across a crochet or knit magazine from the uk so i was very happy to have found this for one dollar okay so i am going to definitely keep my eyes out to get more and give them out for giveaways i did look that day but they, they only have one copy of this one and one copy of the other ones i bought all right guys so thank you for watching let me know what you thought about this Let's talk about it down below. Did it give you any great ideas to crochet or knit? And um, what you thought about the um, the magazine? I thought it was very a very well put magazine, and the patterns were in English, and it was very um, step by step. I, I love it. So yeah, I'll see you in my next video, guys. Please, God bless, stay well, and stay safe. Bye for now.